Before monitoring with the 3M3500-3520 organic vapor monitor, record the following information in your data log. The monitor serial number, the ambient temperature and relative humidity, the sampling date, the compounds to be analyzed, and the employee or area ID. Remove the diffusion monitor from the can. Record the date, employee or area ID, and sampling start time on the monitor label supplied and the relevant information on the base of the OVM itself. Do not remove the white film and plastic ring. The white film is a dust cover to prevent dust buildup inside the monitor. It does not prevent the organic vapors from passing through to the charcoal absorbent pad beneath. The OVM can be used as an area or personal sampler. For personal sampling, attach the monitor near the employee breathing zone. When used as an area monitor, hang it somewhere away from walls, corners, tabletops, or other regions where the air movement in the room may be limited. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch the Galson Field Blanks instructional video. After the sampling period is ended, remove the outer plastic ring and white film from the monitor using a coin or other lever. Be sure to move to the next step immediately. When using the 3M Organic Vapor Monitor 3500, snap the elution cap with plugs onto the main monitor body. Be sure the two port plugs are pushed closed securely. Record the final sampling time on the back of the monitor. The OVM is now ready for shipment. When using the 3M Organic Vapor Monitor with backup section 3520, snap an elution cap with plugs onto the top of the primary body. Separate the primary or top body and secondary or bottom body sections by pulling or leveraging them apart. Snap the bottom cup. Snap the remaining elution cap onto the top of the secondary body. Record the final sampling time on the back of the monitor. The sample is now ready for shipment. Note. The primary and secondary sections should have the same identification numbers on the two halves. Do not mix different monitor sections or the analytical results will be compromised. Return the sealed monitor sections and the short plastic straw to the can and close it with the white plastic lid provided. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat. 303-566-7000.